Welcome to the Walking Down Main Street podcast. This podcast is sponsored by Coasters and Castles Travel. Coasters and Castles Travel has travel advisors in more than 35 states. We call our travel advisors vacation specialists. Our advisors can have specialties from theme park travel, ocean and river cruises, and all-inclusive resort travel. Our advisors travel frequently to better get to know the destinations our guests would like to travel to and regularly keep up with destination training. Our advisors do not charge a planning fee, so it costs our clients no more to book with us than it would to book direct with the supplier. For more information, go to www.travelcnc.com. That's T-R-A-V-E-L-C-N-C.com. For a no-cost, no-obligation quote, we can also be reached by phone at 844-422-8785. Let me introduce everyone. I am Lynn Maccalini, co-owner of Coasters and Castles Travel. We also have April Botta, co-owner of Coasters and Castles Travel. Hi everyone, so excited to be talking travel with you. And then we are also joined by Whitney Maddox. She is a senior vacation specialist with Coasters and Castles Travel. Hello friends. We will be bringing you an episode each week. We will have topics related to Disney destinations, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, cruising, and fun and sun vacations. We love travel and want to share our experiences with you. Episode number 10, the top five snacks in Walt Disney World. And we have a guest with us today. We are welcoming Alisa Mella. She is a vacation specialist with Coasters and Castles Travel. Hello, really happy to be here. Can't wait to talk food. Really. And we're really excited to have her with us today. Thank you. Thanks um, for having so me. I'm not sure where we're going to start. I might do a round robin. Actually, Alisa, I think I'll have you go first and tell us uh, one of your tops. It doesn't have to be in order this time. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with the first one on my list. So my first favorite food is, it's called the croquet glace. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it's a brioche ice cream sandwich. Um, you can find it at the um, ice cream shop in the France Pavilion in Epcot. So what it is, is it's a fresh baked brioche bun that they make in the bakery next door um, in in the same pavilion, and then they top it with your favorite ice cream, um, and then they'll do some kind of sauce on it. So, like, you get, like, their vanilla ice cream with the chocolate sauce, and then they take the whole thing and they press it in, like, it's kind of like a waffle maker, but it's flat. They're, they're so good. It's like that doughy ice creamy. It's, like, it's warm, but with the cold in it, absolutely delicious. It's, like, one of my favorite I think favorite I have to finds. try that. Oh, that go sounds April. good. I haven't tried I've it. I've never had that. <laughs> Oh, so good. I've never heard of it. Oh my gosh. They are amazing. And you can get different sauces. Like, so it just depends on what ice cream you choose, but they have like raspberry sauce. They'll have caramel. They have different flavors. Oh, but I'm already in love. Yeah, they are so good. Like <laughs> raspberry be... sauce and caramel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to gain a lot of it, it's very addicting to this, I think. <laughs> 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 well, you can't gain weight listening. No, that's true. <laughs> it's the action you take well, yes. after the fact. But there's no calories in Disney, so it doesn't if count. I did, that's right. Absolutely. Especially if you walk more than 10,000 steps. <laughs> and you do. So, and, and you're not used to walking that much. So, um, Okay. April, what's yours? Okay. So one of my favorites is the Orange Cream Float, which is at the Sunshine Tree Terrace in Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom. And I love a creamsicle, and that's basically what this is like. So it's an Dole Whip orange with vanilla soft serve with orange soda. So it's really refreshing and light. It's not too heavy to fill you up, and it's just yummy. So I, I'm pretty happy with most things orange, and, and this one definitely fits the bill. Okay, and now we're going to go to our re, uh, resident foodie, Miss Whitney. <laughs> Well, I guess it shouldn't come as any surprise to you that my favorite snack includes some very delicious liqueur in it. <laughs> and it's actually at the same place that Elisa likes to go in Epcot. They have an ice cream martini. Um, 
And it is amazing. So in the France Pavilion, uh, you get to pick what you want. Grand Marnier, they have a whipped cream vodka. And then you mix that with whatever kind. I think they have like 21 different flavors of ice cream there. Um, And you get to pick what kind you like and mix it in there. I think the last time I was there, I got, oh, the whipped cream vodka. And I think I got the pistachio ice cream. And it was delicious. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty high on my list of yummy things I like to get. You could pair that really well with the brioche ice cream sandwich. You really could. (laughs) That sounds like, that sounds like a good mix. Although double the ice cream, I don't know if I need all, all the ice cream in one sitting, but. (laughs) So that's when you share the ice cream with your Mm friend. Yes. Cause that's what I'll probably do when we go down there. I'll ask April to share it with me. And although she does like to have a full one, she always says she doesn't need a full one. And I never I can't need eat a full one, one so. but sometimes she wants one. You never need it. I like sampling <laughs> things. I like little bits of things so I can try all the yes. flavors. So I, I, I'm a little different. I don't have a list. I don't have a specific things that when I go, I, I really have to have one while I'm there. Um, so I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants today on, on my list. I usually have everything all written down, so I'm ready to go. Uh, but this way, you know, I don't know that anyone could steal any of my ideas. <laughs> Fair enough. Or I may steal someone else's first. Um, but I think I'm going to go with a, a good old favorite, and and that is popcorn. Mm. Uh, I love popcorn. Um, I do have to watch it because of the salt. Sometimes there, some of the makers make it a little bit more salty than I'd like. Um, but I like to have that little crunch. And it's something that you can just kind of pop a couple here and there and, and it can last you a good amount of time. So I'm going to have to go with popcorn. That was actually one one of mine because, and it really is kind of a dual thing. I love the snack, but I also collect all the Disney popcorn buckets. So that is a must have. If there is a new popcorn bucket, then I will be eating lots of popcorn. But Disney popcorn, I love bringing it home because then you still have a taste of Disney. I do wonder what they're the, going to do with those refillable buckets for a while, though. We may not refill. see them for no, a while. they'll refill them because I did see they are yeah. doing the you refillable think? mugs, but they have a cast okay. member oh, that's good. helping you. They're filling up a disposable cup with whatever your choice is and then giving it to you. And when we were in gotcha. Universal and SeaWorld, they were doing something similar that if you have a refillable bucket, you could get the single serve package, you know, the popcorn container of popcorn and then you yep. can dump it in your bucket okay good to know i was so thinking about that i'm actually hoping just and assuming yesterday. that disney will do the same with their refillable buckets we'll find out but i'll definitely be finding any buckets they might have yeah <laughs> i wonder if they will have anything i don't know because the, they may have had something for one of the other promotions there were buckets the that year. came out the beginning of the year that i don't have and at this point, they're probably not sold out. So I'm really hopeful that they're going to have them. There was the Steamboat Mickey balloon as well as Steamboat Mini balloon. Oh, I forgot about that. That came out. Hoping, crossing my fingers, that they will still have those. Oh, my God. My car is going to be dr- full of buckets. Right. We're driving down. <laughs> we can buy lots of popcorn buckets. Yay. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. You don't have to worry about oh it. Fit in your suitcase. Awesome. Nope. And you'll be there. Nope. Although she's a champ, though I'm telling you, she's a champ. She can fit I, that I'm stuff. I'm a queen in a of Tetris. I can make anything fit. <laughs> and you're going pretty early, so chances are, if they still have them, you should yes. be able to get them. Yes, hoping, yep. hoping. Yeah, we we went to Disney we Springs a week are. ago, and they did have the popcorn carts open, and they just had normal refillable buckets that they were selling. They didn't have any of the special buckets. So I did see those, but I didn't see how they were managing the buckets. Yep. Okay. So moving back to our next one. And Elisa, what's your next favorite? Okay. So I'm going to play off of April because my next snack was the Outpost Popcorn at Katsaka Kettle in Galaxy's Edge. So they have two different popcorns that they mix together, and I recommend that you have them together. So one is like... um, a grape flavor, which I know sounds weird. And then they mix it with a spicy cinnamon, but together it's like savory, spicy, sweet, and they pop it in coconut oil. It's so good. (laughs) It's like, it's been my like go-to thing every time that we've gone since um, that, you know, they started with that. And they do have the um, collection boxes for the popcorn. There's, it's a 
I'm not quite sure what this is, but I wrote it down. An MSE6 series repair droid is the, do you have I one do. of those, April? Yep, I do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what she does. I, there aren't many I don't have, quite honestly. As far as with the domestic parks between world and land, I have most of the buckets that have been made. So, yeah, no, it's, gotcha. it's a little bit of an addiction. What do you do with Do you have them all, like, displayed uh, somehow? Well, no, or? not yes yet. Yes and no. You, you need right a shelf. Right now I do. I, my, in my basement I have a family room. And they're all around my family room right now. So I recently cleaned it out and I do have them fairly organized because I also collect all the sipper cups and straws and bowls mm -hmm. and really kind of anything like that. Any food containers that Disney produces, I pretty much collect it. So I, she comes I have with a, a list. I mean, I'm I not probably, even kidding. at this point, I might have 200 pieces. I, oh I have goodness. a list. Um, so there's not many that I don't have, but I definitely have the mouse droid. Uh, and I think that's what it's called, but that popcorn is different. I haven't decided if I like it or not, so we definitely tried it, and it's it's different. You can't eat them separate. You have to eat, like, the combination. And I know, I know it's like a hit or miss. Some people love it. Some people, I absolutely love it. I don't know what is it about that I like, because I'm not usually the big popcorn person, but that, I don't know, we tasted it. I tried it for the first time in California when we were there last summer, Um and I've just been addicted. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I like grape, but I don't know that I would like grape popcorn. And I don't like spicy cinnamon. So I, I don't know that I would like it. So I haven't tried it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I, I haven't tried that yet. You like everything. I know. I do. Like You would probably like it then. <laughs> She's I the would. booty. I definitely would. I have like, I got this popcorn from Trader Joe's like a couple weeks ago. And I don't even know what it is, but it's like. Literally, the the front of it says like sweet, spicy. You know, like it's just like all different flavors yep. mixed in there, and that's like my jam. I like that. So then you would so definitely I do like this. kettle corn. I do. I do like kettle corn, and I and I love for flavored popcorn in Disney. I like the one over at um, Norway. Mm. Um, the uh, what's it called? Are you thinking oh, like goodness. in Charmel Norway? What that's was, in in yes, Germany. I mean, the one it's Germany. Germany, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I forget Carmel, the name of it. Carmel, um, yeah. Kush. No, 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 no. It's, it's a brand. Werther. Well, it's Werther's. It's a brand of... Oh, Werther's? Yeah, yeah, it's Werther's. Werther's, Werther's yeah. yeah. The Werther's. In fact, they made it there before they ever sold it. Now they, mm -hmm. like, sold it on the market. Now you can get it on the market. But I love that one there. So that's kind of the most I do for flavored popcorn. But even Disney's uh, pre-packaged popcorn is so good. Like, the stuff that you can buy in the stores, it's, oh, my gosh. So many flavors. I to never choose have from. bought it there. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> never have because I have the park popcorn. It's good. It's good to take home too. Like we'll get it for gifts for people. Like if we're coming home and we want to bring a souvenir because they sometimes they sell. Like you can buy the big bags or they'll sell like a package that has like three or four like different flavors. Oh yeah, it, yeah. So. Oh, I have had those because they came in one of the um, the gifts, and that was mm -hmm. what we sent you April for last year or for January. Um, Okay, April, what's your right, next mine item? Mine is more of a drink than a snack, but it's really a family favorite. So it's the Night Blossom, which is at Pongu Pongu in Pandora. Mm. And and this is one that's different. And it's, you know, the flavors you wouldn't necessarily think of. So it's kind of like a slushy, but it's layer of apple and this desert pear limeade. And then it has passion fruit boba balls in it. And it's really, really good. <laughs> So it's very sweet, but it's cool and refreshing. So it's great on a hot day. When um, the dining plan was around, it did count as a snack credit. And we always got one, at least one per trip. So the Night Blossom is pretty amazing and definitely worth trying. And I, at Pongu Pongu, you can also get adult beverages as well. This one is not an adult beverage, but you can get some fun adult beverages there too. So Whitney, you'd be all set for that one. Yeah, I I know. I, I'm going to try not to sound so lushy all the time on these, but I do. <laughs> Jeez, I do enjoy some nice drinks when I'm there or home or whatever. But anyways, that same place has the Moara Margarita, which is really good too. I've had that a couple times and it's very tasty. But um, my next one does not involve any alcohol. It's actually the waffles at Sleepy Hollow in Magic Kingdom. Um, I can't decide which one I like better, so I always get both of them. And 
I'm with usually someone that's splitting them with me. So I don't just eat them all myself, but I could. But one of them is the Nutella waffle with fruit. And it oh. has, uh, yeah, it's a Nutella spread Nutella. and it has um, strawberries. Bananas. I mean, it is like so delicious. And then. Does the, it have bananas? Because you have and, to have bananas. And banana. I think Nutella. it does have bananas. Yeah. Okay. And then the um, the savory one to that is the spicy chicken waffle, which is so, so, so yummy too. So that's that's my next favorite. I pretty much have to get those every time I'm there. I just I have not them. had those either. I, oh, that's something so, I'm going to have to try. They're so good. They are good. We had the those. chicken one. Mm, it's yummy. See, I would go with the Nutella one. <laughs> I, chicken and waffles isn't my thing, but I don't do spicy. Um, I have food allergies, so that can be a challenge. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to go back a little bit to what April said in her first one. Because uh, I do, I also am a cream skull lover, but I do not like orange soda. Uh, I don't like grape soda. I don't like orange soda. I don't like, I've never liked those. But I do like just the plain um, swirl that they do that has the orange. It's like an orange um, sherbet and then the vanilla soft serve together. So that's always nice for a, a cool, refreshing treat yep. while you're there. Okay, Lisa, what's your next one? All right. So my next one is I'm going back to Epcot, back to the Germany Pavilion and to the Caramel Kush. Is that how you say it? I don't know. There's always controversy. I don't know. Okay. So my favorite is it's the square of caramel, but with the dark chocolate and the sea salt. So good. It's just like a small little snack. You can split it because, you know, I, they're not that big, but it is it is a lot of caramel. But they even have ones that have like bacon in it or nuts. and Milk chocolate? It, they do have milk chocolate as well. Yep. Okay. They have it in all different. But it's just with that dark chocolate and the sea salt and the caramel. So, again, it's that sweet with a little bit of savory with the salt. So good. And you can walk and eat I, it. I do like salted chocolate and caramel together. Mm-hmm. Even salted caramel, yeah, I like that too. So good. It's kind of funny, but I'm not. I'm not a dark chocolate person. My husband likes dark chocolate. Well, they do have milk chocolate, so you can go and get that. <laughs> and I don't it, even white like white. I'm so purist on chocolate; it has to be milk. Yeah, fact, I'm I, not a April big white chocolate this. fan either. Yeah, I hear you. I got you. Yep. April doesn't know this yet, but we went to Universal and I got a chocolate frog. Oh my god, it was awful. <laughs> it was like the worst. <laughs> chocolate i have ever had in my life i, I threw it, was it away <gasps> it i was, was actually just, eating some that, of my oh, chocolate it was awful today. <laughs> it was what it was tasted like the, the it just tasted like really cheap chocolate it just the, the flavor of the chocolate was horrible i'm like give me hershey's if you got to do cheap chocolate because that's at least better but oh my god my husband was like what is this he didn't even like it either and he loves chocolate so yeah so that the chocolate frog went in the went in the trash uh oh. <laughs> um, okay, April. What's your next one? Okay, so my next one I think is going to be something simple, but another one that I always have to get, which is a Mickey pretzel. Love the Mickey pretzels. Usually get a couple each trip, and I generally get one or two to bring home. Although it's never good the second. It's not as good the second day, but I'm always hopeful because it's still it's like tasting Disney when you get home because you know when you get home you're so Disney depressed that you just need a little bit of a memory but the Mickey pretzel is an important one and you get them everywhere and you can get um, some of the larger ones like in Germany again so Germany I guess is our big destination you can get like these foot long pretzels they're huge uh, and they do have a little bit different consistency they're a little crunchier than like the regular Mickey pretzels but Definitely the pretzels are a favorite. So do you like a sauce with it? I like it plain. Like plain. I never get the cheese. My kids will get the cheese mm. with the pretzel. I love the I cheese. I like mustard. Oh, I don't like, I like mustard, mustard anyway. Regular boring yellow mustard on there. <laughs> so you either plastic cheese or this spicy mustard because those pretzels in Germany are awesome and they're huge. And you can also then get a beer with them because mm. they have that really good grapefruit beer in germany that goes yeah. so good with those pretzels chris and andy like the grapefruit beer i did it's it's like you're drinking a glass of grapefruit juice interesting i actually found that at my local wegmans mm-hmm. so that was oh i love wegmans I know, very I refreshing know. there's one in walking <laughs> distance to my apartment dangerous for me for my life oh, goodness i go there like every day especially <laughs> if you don't want to cook no yeah it's like prepared oh. food 
is the closest entrance to where my apartment is too. So I just walk in there and I'm like, oh. They have the best dinner? prepared foods. Yes. I know. It's so, so easy. Good. <laughs> um, my brother lives in, in Ithaca, New York, and they go out to dinner once a, once a week yeah. to Wegmans. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, okay, Miss Whitney. Oh, it's so hard to choose. I just love so many things. But I think for my next one, I'm going to have to go with tots of some sort, like tater tots. They have all oh. different kinds of things. So one of my favorites is in Magic Kingdom, and it's at the Friar's Nook, and it's the buffalo chicken tots. And those are like so amazing. It's tater tots, buffalo chicken, garlic ranch dressing, blue cheese, celery. I think that's all that's on there and they are absolutely delicious and my second favorite tots are the tachos in toy story land at woody's lunchbox and they have like everything you could ever want beef and chili and queso and fritos and sour cream and it's literally like nachos but they're tater tots and they're so good so i really Mm. like i like i like um sweet snack stuff too but i'm i like savory a lot there's no rules Mm -hmm. (laughs) i know i know you like savory besides the less sweet you eat the more for us i know that this is true (laughs) and the less savory we eat the more for you ladies that's i'm definitely a sweet i know i i tend to be a more savory person too although my list has a lot of sweets but i have never met a potato that i don't like so i definitely have to go and try those i love potatoes in every single form i could just eat them constantly me too probably the worst thing for you to eat but that's what i love (laughs) they're so good i know the struggle is real okay so now i gotta think of one okay so i'm gonna go with a goodie but oldie the mickey ice cream sandwiches Mm, that's a great one i've always been an ice cream sandwich fan Mm -hmm. i really do like those believe it or not I, i don't i can't i have trouble eating a full one now the ones at Disney, but the ones that you can actually get in the in the supermarket are perfect size for me because they're not they're about half as thick as the ones in Disney. Mm-hmm. So it makes for a nice little treat for me here and there. I wanted some tonight, but he couldn't find any. <laughs> yeah, they're very. It's an interesting. Yeah. Okay, Sorry, Lisa. it's an interesting poll to right. people that will like the Mickey ice cream sandwiches versus the Mickey, you know, the chocolate covered ice cream bars. So. You get you get very diverse answers. I mean, I'm definitely the sandwich I prefer, but I certainly can eat the other one. I'm not as picky with ice cream. I this is a, this is a memory from a million years ago, but they used to have an ice cream bar that was not chocolate covered. The ears of Mickey were chocolate ice cream, and then the face was vanilla, and it had chocolate for the eyes. I loved that. Yeah, Absolutely I know. love that. So I know I miss those. You used to be able to just buy them at the store too. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, but when oh. we would, um, we used to go down and visit my aunt every year, and she always had her fridge stocked, her freezer stocked with those for us. Like the whole thing was ice. It's almost like an ice cream cake type of ice cream. Like it's like hard, not hard, but yeah, yeah, yeah. With Mickey's face, there's no like, hard was... shell on it. Right now, it's messy. There's no chocolate covering. Right. Yeah. Oh, trust me. Down in into... Florida, it's still got messy. Yeah. Well, as soon as you bite into you know. these, like stuff's falling off and stuff's yeah. melting, and ice cream sandwich is so much more containable. <laughs> I know. I've always heard those other the chocolate covers. I've always tried to eat the covering off first. Anyway, I'm weird. I admit it. Because you like chocolate. <laughs> I do like chocolate. I really like chocolate, and it's dangerous. Okay, Elisa, what's your next one? All right, I'm going savory. My next one. This is, might be a weird one, but. I love the chicken fried rice at the Yak and Yeti in the oh, Animal that's Kingdom. A great one, great one. It's, you can walk with it. It's always it's so flavorful. You don't have to you know worry about sitting down. We can just kind of my family. They're not real. We're not really big eaters, so we literally can between the four of us. It's just like a great snack to just kind of give you energy and and keep you going. Oh, so good. I love it. I haven't had it actually in probably like the past year or two. I'm really missing it. So I'm hoping in August I can get it again. It's so good. Mm-hmm. And it's a snack credit when you're on the dining plan. And yeah, yep. that's that's a yummy one. I like it. And that. it's not, it's pretty reasonable as far as like the price for the size that you're getting. Because you get a pretty good container. It's like one yeah. of those regular like Chinese size, like not like the yeah, smaller to-go one. container. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Okay, Miss April. All right, my next one is a new favorite. 
and I had just tried it actually at the beginning of the year, and I do love it, but I know it's a fan favorite out there, and there are many people that will rave about it, and that's the school bread in at the Kringla Bakery in Norway, in Epcot, and I was always hesitant to try it because I don't like coconut, and it does have toasted coconut on it, but you can easily just scrape it off. So it's just a sweet roll that's filled with this vanilla custard, and it's really good. Like, I would definitely get that. I'll take the coconut off, but I will definitely get that and have that again. It, but that's something that's always on, like, the must-do list that you hear so many people talk about. Like, you have to try the school bread in Norway. Well worth it. It's very good. I love that, too. See, I really do love everything. <laughs> <All these things. laughs> Another thing I haven't tried. It's really I'm good. Also, not a fan of coconut, so I'd have yeah, to. Yeah, it's easy to off. take it off. But it's not so. Over. It's not like it's baked in or yeah, anything. So it is mm-hmm. easy to take off. And so, oh, that's one of those things that's really. I don't like it when things have, when coconuts baked into things. Yeah. Because you bite into something and you're like, all of a sudden you get that weird, and it's not even like a texture on my tongue type thing. It's the the feeling of it when I bite into it. Yeah, that teeth. delicious. Sweet coconut. Mm, mm, mm. You can have mine. You can have mine, mine Whitney. I will. You can scrape it off and I'll just eat the, just eat the coconut. There you I go. like the coconut. Well, we are going to be in Epcot, so maybe we can split there one of these go. things. This is and awesome. you can have all the coconut can part have of our it. Coconut. Woo! All right. I want one bite of the actual thing. Oh, no, thing, no. I can eat the whole share. thing. So you can probably split the thing with me and okay. then have the coconut. Okay. They are pretty big. I can't eat all that. Definitely yeah, sure. I can't eat all that. Yeah, and they're not super, super sweet. That's what I think I like about it. It's it's sweet, but it's more like a sweet bread mm-hmm. rather than like a pastry. So good. Mm, okay. Have to try that. My next one is also in Epcot, and it's in Japan, and it's the Kakagori, which is like a shaved ice, um, and you can get it without – it's Japanese shaved ice. You can get it with or without like a sweetened condensed milk drizzled on it, um, and it's delicious when you get it with the milk. Um, it's good without it too, but it's super refreshing and, uh, they have rainbow, strawberry, melon, blue raspberry, and cherry, I think. And. Oh my goodness. My kids. My daughter love loves it. this. You guys are. S- that they have to get. And mm-hmm. it's pretty big you guys too. Are so much more experienced than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All these things I have not tried. I do like shaved ice, so I probably would like it. Yeah. You, I think you would. If you, if you like shaved ice, that's pretty much exactly what it is. And it's really, mm-hmm. really yummy. Okay, that means I have to think of another one. Um, mm-hmm. This is hard. Well, I'm going to kind of go with a goodie but oldie again. Um, and it's yes, it's ice cream again. But one of the things that we generally will do is stop at the ice cream shop on Main Street and just get some Edie's ice cream. I love Edie's ice cream. So I'm going to go with that one. I know it's nothing fancy and exciting. It's but yummy. It's okay. Um, oh. It does remind me of a funny story, though, so I'll have to share it. So when we first were starting up the agency, we had an agent who came on, and we had been doing some some vendor shows, and April brought back this container, and it was perfect for mailing list entries. And I, I could not think of what it was called, and I was trying to explain to her what it was, and I said, it's a Mickey Pant ice cream bowl. And so she had no idea what I was talking about and went looking everywhere, Googling Mickey Pant ice cream bowl to figure out what it was. And, and I didn't think of it as the kitchen sink. Aww. So it was uh, just kind of a funny story that, you know, it's like sometimes people can associate things by a certain name, but if you can't, if you don't remember what it is, the other person may not realize what it is. So, but yeah, so the Mickey Pant ice cream with the, um, or, or the, the smaller version of the, kitchen sink is also fun um now i would probably have to have three people because the first time my husband and i split it now i'd have to have three people because i i can't eat as much as i used to so don't they sell like do they do the mini pants yeah. now there too yes they're yep. both sinks mm-hmm. yep. so it's I have the, that one too. they're kitchen sinks so the mickey and then they do have the mini okay. version now too yes super That's cute great. we've had the kitchen sink at beaches and cream Leaves. Oh my word! The real yeah, that's kitchen a big sink. One. The real kitchen sink with a whole can of whipped oh cream. My but what? I'm not a big whipped cream person. In fact, I don't like whipped cream. But this when is, I was a kid, yeah, it just there turns was a, into a soupy mess place. anyway. <laughs> yeah, there was a place up in I think it was in Holbrook called Stanny's, and they used to have something like that that had like the 26 scoops of ice cream in it, and there were 
always at least five of us kids at the house. By the time my youngest one, youngest sibling was born, the oldest one had moved out. So there's a big difference there. But when you have seven people, that can be nice and easy to eat. But I can't even imagine even a group of four or five being able to eat that thing. Yeah, we had seven, but it, it still was just like, whew. Yeah, and it would be hard because you'd have to get enough people around the table, too, to do it. So, And with everything that's going on now... I don't. Uh, I don't know that you want to be splitting (laughs) kitchen sink. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah, I almost forgot about that for like ten minutes. Uh, Okay, Elisa, what's your next item? Uh, Back to me. Okay. Um, All right. So my next one, I'm going sweet again. um, Is the Cheshire Cat Tail at the Cheshire Cat Cafe in the Magic Kingdom? Um, So it's like I love chocolate croissants. So it's a version of a chocolate croissant, um, but it's like longer and thin, like a cattail. Um, but it has, I think there's like also like a cream to it with the chocolate. And there's, there's like this really colorful icing on top. So good. And like with a nice cup of coffee, like to start off your day in the Magic Kingdom. Love those. So good. Elisa, we could definitely go to Disney together and split all the things because I think right, I Whitney. agreed with every single one you said. <laughs> I love the checkered cat tail. I did Another get the one I've never I heard of. I that one. Had. I that got was the, almost going to be on my list. I got the slushy too there. The Cheshire no, slushy. No, that, that's oh, going to be my next one, called. so don't start talking about it. Oh, oh, you! I won't. Okay, I won't talk about it. You, you take that one. But that Scratch one, it was that. pretty. That one was pretty good. Go. Okay. All right. Turn, so yes. Yeah. So I was going to mention I had the Cheshire Cat Tail. I was kind of tossing up, but the Wonderland Slushy. It's at the same location. Yes. Is is another interesting one, but it really works. It's very sweet, so it works perfect for me because I I like anything sweet, and it's raspberry lemonade with grape soda, and then it has a candy coated straw to drink it out of so it's like it it's mm-hmm. so oh, sweet but it really is really good so yeah it's nerd. Out. <laughs> i think it's little like nerds nerds yeah. rope straw out on know, the straw like, sour yeah. yeah yeah it's good that's a good one we need to Lynn, branch lynn out she's, she's i know lynn you're not trying that i don't one. like grape oh, soda I love grape soda <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't really i like grape juice but i hate that. grape ju- grape soda that's funny well okay miss whitney one. All right. Uh, my, I'd say my next one in Animal Kingdom, there's a little cart and it's called Eight Spoon Cafe. And I think it's seasonal because sometimes it does not appear to be open, but most of the time it is. But they have a baked macaroni and cheese there that's pretty small. Um, well, it's a snack credit, but it's not really that small. It's, it's enough for to have for lunch, I think. And you could get the regular one, or my favorite is the one that has shrimp and the sweet chili sauce on top of it. And it's amazing. And they also have one uh, that's topped with pulled pork, which is also just as good. So sometimes we get just a couple of those and snack on them and then probably go to Yak and Yeti and get that fried rice and then go to wherever mr kamal's and get some fries that's why they were i was gonna say wait is that the same place that has the kamal fries i mean animal uh. kingdom is one of my favorite places to snack around and if i'm on the dining plan it's like my favorite to use up all a lot of snack credits because they just have so much cool stuff mm-hmm. um and they just have those snack carts everywhere so usually when we go there we kind of just grab snacks at one point and then usually eat in Pandora because I do love Setuli Canteen, but um, yeah, so that's a good I one. I do like that. It's a good I snack. I love Animal the Kingdom cheeseburger for pods over there. Uh, Animal Kingdom pods? used to have um, a chicken salad sandwich at, I can't remember the name of the place, but it's where they, I think they turned it into an ice cream place now. It's like right on the corner um, when you're entering Africa, like coming over the bridge on the right, like where the band's usually playing. Mm-hmm. Like right across from the, the the bar area, and they used to have this awesome chicken salad. It was so, Yum. and they then they got rid of it because they turned it into it. I was sad. That's I hate when all the good food goes away that I loved. I know, but it makes you gives you a chance to try new ones, right? I know this is yeah. true. Because I mean, especially for those who like savory things, there's so many more options than those of us who are pickier. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> I can't eat all the things I want to, even if I tried there ever. Probably in my life, I know. You got to have, a, like, like, what I do is I, even with restaurants, I, I will do, like, one or two 
favorite restaurants and then try one or two new ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. So I try to split it in half so that I am still getting some of the things. So, yep. okay, now I have to think again. Um, Okay, I'm going to have to go with the chocolate-covered frozen bananas. Mm, that's Madeline's favorite. <laughs> I was going to say, I, my I kids were like, put this. that on your list, Mom. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. That's a good one. I've always loved chocolate and banana together. Uh, when, I, when, I was ki- when I was kids, it wasn't frozen, but my mother would actually bake bananas um, on the grill mm-hmm. with chocolate in it. So you put a banana in there, you slice it in half, and then you – put some chocolate in there and you wrap it up in foil and then you just put it in the grill. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. It, it really it does. so good. I haven't had it for probably 30 years, but it I is, like it is really, really mm. toasty, toasty and nummy and good. So, Yum. okay, Miss April, do we have another one? I've lost count, but I know people have sure. snacks out there. So the giant cinnamon roll that you can get at creature comfort, which is also Starbucks and animal kingdom. And it's essentially three cinnamon rolls in one to make the shape of a Mickey silhouette. And I always love this as a snack credit option because it counts as one credit, but it's easily shareable or you can split it up. So I would get it to go. You have to ask for, they don't have to go to containers. So I get paper plates and they put saran wrap around it. So that way I could have breakfast one day and then breakfast another day with it. And it's huge. Like you just wouldn't be possible to eat it in one sitting. But really good, just super simple, and well worth it, regardless of whether you have a credit or not. You know, it's well worth the purchase just because it can go a long way, or it's shareable with your family, that everybody can get a sweet treat. It's perfect. And I'm going to go back to Elisa, because I skipped her by accident. Sorry about that. That's okay. All right, so my last one is, I'm back at Epcot in Germany. So Germany, they sell a artesian cheese plate. Um, that you can kind of walk around with. It's, I think it's five, it really, I think it's $5 and it comes with three different cheeses and then, um, like a side for each, like a little flat piece of cracker bread. Uh, I think like a, a flat pretzel piece, like a, like a dried, it's kind of like a chip. Um, and like, I think there's also ham on there, but it's $5. So you can get a nice glass of wine at their wine cellar. Get that and then sit there and pair them together. It's really good. Nice. And I think for $5, like that's a great buy. It's perfect for like an in-between meal thing or even just a light lunch Mm -hmm. thing. Love that. There are definitely a few options like that around. I know there's a nice cheese and bread plate in France too that I would get. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. So because by the time. So many good things. Oh, my goodness. Yes. They really do. I haven't even gotten in there yet. (gasps) Lynn, you gotta go. seriously, <laughs> <laughs> we're taking you there. When I see you in Epcot, I'm taking you there immediately. Immediately, immediately <laughs> to get snacks. All the we're snacks. gonna do lots of snacks. I can't wait. Well, you guys are doing lots of snacks. I can't do lots of snacks. <sighs> well, I think probably okay. my one of my other favorite things are the corn dog nuggets at Casey's Corner in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a like simple thing, but it's so good. You dip them in the cheese sauce. We get those also every time we go. And I think those are my kids' favorites. So my daughter as well. Yep. So my good. daughter, every trip, she's like, got to go get my nuggets. <laughs> they also have Usually. really good cheese fries there, which are so good. Chili cheese mm-hmm. fries. Mm-hmm. I it's like the perfect and... snack to stand and eat while you're watching like the fireworks at the end of the night. Cause yes. You should probably get like a fork for your uh, chili cheese fries, though, because they get a little <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> My friend Annie and I, she's going to kill me for even saying this, but we got them before the fireworks one night and we forgot to get forks and we got all the way oh, back no. over to the other side. And we're like, we were so hungry and we were not going through all those people again that we were just like, hounding these chili cheese fries and it was really <laughs> disgusting and she was like we must never talk of this and now here I am sharing it on a podcast <laughs> but it's been about it's been about three years since that happened so I think we're past it now we could tell people that we had a super sloppy moment we won't tell anyone but they're very good Secret yeah, okay. with us. <laughs> just between us yeah <laughs> this is just a conversation right absolutely just us, so. <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna kind of one's not there anymore but i still want to share it um 
in in Epcot. Believe it or not, yes, I have something in Epcot, and it's kind of from the store. It's not from one of the restaurants. Um, in the tea store in UK, they used to have a candy bar that was this. It's called the Curly Whirly by Cadbury. And for those of us who are old here in America, they had a, a candy bar very similar to that. It was called a marathon bar. And it was basically caramel that was dipped in chocolate, but the marathon bar was actually shaped like a braid. And it was about the same size as a Charleston shoe. And that was my favorite candy bar growing up. And it got discontinued. So I got all excited when they had it in the Curly Whirly in Epcot. Now, mind you, it was super expensive. It was like two fifty each. And I they weren't the same size as a marathon bar, so I had to get two. So I'd spend five dollars for two candy bars, but the past few years they haven't had it. So I don't know if Cadbury just discontinued it or what. But that was that was one of my favorites. And now, I used Lynn, to always get that when I went there. That was my younger daughter's her favorite candy bar. She got them every time. So so disappointed when they disappeared. And I remember uh, like the year that they disappeared for her birthday. I was online. And I think I ordered her like a case of curly whirlies uh, from like Amazon for her birthday because she was so disappointed that they disappeared. Yeah, they are. Oh my goodness, they was so good, and you had to eat them quick because you're in Florida, so they're gonna melt. Mm-hmm. Um, but the other one I do get, and I get this fairly frequently, and again, it's from the store. It's not from a bakery or a snack shop or anything like that. I love shortbread cookies. Oh, me too. So I will get the box of shortbread cookies from the Disney store down in my hotel. And they're just, they're, they're light. I, shortbread cookies are, are, my mother used to make them growing up. And so those are one of those ones. I don't care for sugar cookies, but I love shortbread cookies. I so love them too. Do you, my, do you like the ones with the chocolate on them too? I've never had them. They're, they're really I just good. like the plain ones. They're milk chocolate. <laughs> I know, but I just haven't tried them because I like the other ones so much. So. I know. I love the shortbread cookies too, but you should try the ones with chocolate sometime because the, they just have like a thin layer of chocolate on the bottom and they're really, really yummy. Yeah, I've seen them in there. I just haven't bought them. Mm-hmm. So, Have you gotten so them that's from the one. tea place in England? Because they have shortbreads have, in there too. I have not. I'll have to take a look at that and try them and see if they're any different. Yeah, you have to. The other they're ones. good too. Because really there are some places that don't make them as good. Like I, I am a fan of the shortbread cookies you can buy in the store and at Lorna Dunes. Where they are. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I've not experienced all of them. Um, okay, so anyone have a last one that we didn't get on our list? I want to make sure we all get them all. I actually just thought of something while you were talking about cookies, and I don't know how I forgot this one because this is actually like one of my most favorite cookie type things at Disney. I don't, this blows my mind that I almost forgot to mention this, but it's the magic cookie bar. And um, you guys probably won't like it because it's got coconut, but it's delicious. <laughs> um, they used to sell it on, I think back in Storybook, Cir- Storybook Circus, uh, in Storybook Treats, but I haven't found it there in a very long time. Then they were selling it at Wilderness Lodge and um, in at Port Orleans, and the last time I found it was in Epcot at Sunshine Seasons. And I had it's like very elusive and very difficult to find this thing. But basically, it's just graham cracker crust on the bottom with melted butter, with like a bunch of chocolate chips, butterscotch chips, coconut, shredded coconut, and then like topped with a can of sweetened condensed milk. And it's not even baked. It's just oh no, it is baked. It's baked just to melt everything. And then it turns into just like this amazing cookie bar. And that's why they call it the magic cookie bar. And you top it with sprinkles and some, some kind of nuts. I think there's like pecans in it. Uh, and it's really, really good, but it's very difficult to find. You, my mother used to make something similar to that. I forget what she called them. But. Probably seven layer bars. I think that's what they're called. Like normally. Yeah. And no, she had a different name for when them, they're not at Disney. But. But that sounds so great. I'm gonna. I didn't tell you guys this, but I'm gonna throw out a couple more categories here for snacks. Favorite event snack. Oh, I have one. Like from like not so scary or April's, something. April's thinking. Yeah, or, no. yeah, oh, she's got one. April's one. Got I, I'm trying to think of what were all the components that made it up. But so at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party last year, they came out with this Constance Hatchaway wedding cake. And it was so good. So Constance Hatchaway 
is the bride in the attic of the haunted mansion. So, so she's the one that kills her five husbands. And so this was her wedding cake. And again, I'd have to look it up to figure out the components. Uh, but it was, it was so good. It was vanilla and it had like some icing in it and some like gelatin. And it was, I don't know, I'm not describing it well, but it was really, really good. Okay. Anyone have another one? I was trying to think, cause like I think of event, like this food and wine count or flower yep. and garden. Yep. So yep. usually anything from like the booth that's up for Mexico is usually something that I like from like the different events because they usually have like an empanada or some kind of like specialty um, taco or I forget what they're called. Like they're the flat ones and they build on there. It's like a crispy, I can't think of the name of it now, but usually anything from there during one of their events are right on and they make really good specialty margaritas too during that time. So you can't go wrong. Okay, Miss Whitney. Oh my gosh, I feel like love we, the events. <laughs> I feel like we need a uh, obviously a completely separate podcast. Could be another episode. We will, but just pick to one. be really discussing these because there's just so many that I, I just love food and wine and flower and garden. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Um, there was like a lobster tail that had like a buttery lemon like a emulsified Meyer lemon mix in it. And it was like the most delicious lobster tail I've ever had. Um, and I can't remember exactly what the booth Probably was. Probably over at America's. No. Probably over at America's. No, it was, it's not Australia. Gosh, I can't remember. I can't remember. It was across from Re- Refreshment Port, but I can't remember what the name it was. And the other. Oh, the New Zealand, right? Was it New, New Zealand? Zealand? Was it? I think I think so, but gosh, I'm I'm unprepared for this. Okay, but that's that's, okay. A, that's a very good one. And um, at Flower and Garden, they have the Honey Bistro, and I like everything from there. But mm-hmm. they, they have this flatbread that has I don't even I don't even know chicken, honey, some sort of really good cheese. The whole thing was just so delicious. But I I mean, there's just so many things I like at the festivals. Can't agree. So before I tell you what mine are, I actually have two. I want to say, ask you first, do you ever have something that you like it and you don't like it at the same time? Nope. I pretty much like everything or I hate it. (laughs) So I have a like dislike with the nitro chocolate. Hmm. It's a little bit too dark chocolatey for me, but I love the creaminess to it. And I kind of like the way that it feels when I, because you kind of have to chew it because it's that it's so cold. It's more hard than a regular ice cream type thing. So I've never tried that, but it sounds interesting. Yep. And now I forgot my other one. Uh. <laughs> it's like the opposite of the drinking chocolate. Cause that, yeah. Like then, I don't know. That is like usually not sweet enough. You guys ever had that? I've tried. Yeah, I have had that. And then I'm like, yeah, I don't think mm. I've, it's like, cause you're expecting hot chocolate, but it's I not. don't love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We didn't have that one. We tried just a cold one. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've done it twice now. And I'm like, oh, I really don't like it. But then I kind of do like it. And I don't want to have another one. <laughs> so it's like, it's it's weird. It doesn't, it's like, it's almost like it finds different places on my taste buds that, oh, that one is good. But oh, not that one. What, is it at I, food I don't know and what wine? It is. Yeah. Okay. It's a food and wine. It's, it's also at the other one. Oh, it's, it's at the both? little path that goes from where uh, imagination is yep. over into the countries. Oh, Okay. So huh. there's that little area that's they have a lot of cheese things mm-hmm. and they have wine things in there and then they have the nitro chocolate. Hmm. Wow. So we've had it a couple of times and and I didn't really want to have it the second time, but then I did want to have it the second. It's it's weird because I was it's like funny. I remember eating it going, I don't really care for this, but then I wanted it again. I just it's weird. It's very weird. Um, so I don't remember what my other one was going to be, but I'll throw one in there anyway because I did say I had a couple. Um, of all the cookies that you can get at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, I like the gingerbread. I like their gingerbread cookies. It's a good one. So that's my my favorite of all those ones because they actually they have a lot that I don't care for. And even the same with the the cookie crawl in Epcot. Um, there were several on there that I didn't care for. So okay, ladies. Well, we're gonna finish up for tonight. Be sure to join us next week when we talk about some first trip tricks 
for Walt Disney World. Try saying that one 10 times fast. Just a reminder to be sure to check out the Walking Down Main Street blog. Many of the agents from Coasters and Castles Travel write articles and share fun information. That can be found on walkingdownmainstreet.com or by searching Walking Down Main Street on Facebook. We would love to hear from you. If there is a topic you would like to have us talk about, please feel free to email us at info at travelcnc.com. That's T-R-A-V-E-L-C-N-C dot com. A quick note about our sponsor, Coasters and Castles Travel is a full-service travel agency that specializes in Disney destinations, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, ocean and river cruises, and all-inclusive resorts. The agency has been awarded the authorized Disney Vacation Planner status and the You Preferred Partner Program with Universal Studios. The agency was also honored with the President's Award with Travel Leaders in 2019. Minutes are precious, so until we meet again, enjoy them with your friends and family. 